Welcome to the 2020 QC Student-Led Teaching Awards. First of all, I'd like to say a huge congratulations to all the staff who've been nominated, and particularly those who've been shortlisted. Though the award ceremony is a little different this year, we're so excited to still be able to recognise the wonderful work of Cambridge's teaching and support staff. I have loved organising these awards. It has been so heartwarming to see how much students and staff appreciate each other. But on with the show. First of all, I'd like to pass over to Professor Graham Virgo, who's going to give a short introductory speech about why these awards are so important. My name is Graham Virgo, and I'm the Senior Pro Vice Chancellor with Responsibility for Education. Normally, I would be attending the KUSU Student-Led Teaching Awards in person and speaking to all present about the importance of the awards. Obviously, because of the extraordinary circumstances we are facing at the moment, we can't meet in person. But I'm delighted that these awards are still continuing, albeit remotely. I've always supported the KUSU Student-Led Teaching Awards as a really important initiative because it's a way of, for our students to show how much they appreciate the hard work and the enthusiasm of our academics in the university, but all those who are supporting our students in all sorts of different ways whether it's in faculties or departments or in colleges, whether it's lectures or supervisors, or those providing support services to really ensure that our students get the best possible educational experience that they can. So I'm really delighted that this event is continuing and I want to express my gratitude to those who've spent so much time in organising these awards. I realise this event is rather different from that which was originally planned. And I want to convey my congratulations to all those who have been nominated by their students and also to those who have received awards. Many congratulations to all of you and keep safe. Thank you, Professor Virgo. Now on to what we've all been waiting for, announcing the winners. I hope you enjoy. I nominate Mr. David Stott, who is kind, inspirational, supportive, and the most dedicated teacher, and without whom we would not have the same depth of knowledge that we have now. Mr. Stott always pushes us to achieve better marks and better outcomes, for which I'm very grateful. Even before getting to know him in person, I had already known about Mr. Stott. The second years were always gushing about the quality of his lectures and supervisions, and I wanted to experience it for myself. My first supervision felt like a Cambridge interview, as Mr. Stott directed a question at each of us in turn, his gaze fixated on that one person, and that one person only, while waiting for the right answer. No answer was spared from his razor-sharp dissection of our waffly answers. It was nerve-wracking, but walking out of that supervision, I thought, that was so fun. I was thinking on the spot, and challenged on my ideas. This was the kind of learning I applied for Cambridge for. His infectious passion and enthusiasm coming to class was unparalleled. I once jokingly told my friend, before starting my course, I was not looking forward to the law paper at all. But now Mr Stott almost makes me want to be a human rights lawyer. Thank you Mr Stott for delivering such passion and insights. It has been the highlight of my first year. I am sure you will continue to inspire many more batches of students who have the privilege of being taught by you. thrilled to hear that this person had won a student-led teaching award. They truly deserve this recognition. Everything they do is motivated by a desire to help students, and while they haven't been in this role for long, the difference they've made is tangible and will benefit students for years to come. 
I've seen how the changes this person has made haven't been easily won and involved many a challenge to change years of tradition. I've seen how hard this person has had to fight to get their voice heard. I've seen how much work they've had to put in just to make the simplest, yet often the most important, things happen. I cannot emphasise how much this championing of students has been appreciated, not just by me, but by so many others. But this person has done so much more than making these changes and attending the countless meetings needed to make them happen. They've also constantly been there for students. They're patient, supportive and eager to help with any concerns as best they can, even with exceptionally limited resources. The kind of personal support and empathy that this person provides is truly beneficial and really valued across the college. Thank you so much for everything you've done. And although it's undeniable that the library is appallingly lit, you personally bring so much light to it. I initially thought about nominating this person simply because of the way that they genuinely care about the students at my college and want to help them in any way that they can. However, when I began to think about it, I realised just how much of an unsung hero they are for all students in the college, but also particularly the, the amount of support that they've given me. I'll start with how they help all students. This person's seen themselves as a guardian of the students of the college, whatever their background, from the moment that they step in as freshers beginning their new lives away from home. Their relationship with students and their understanding of the issues facing them, and particularly their understanding of mental health, have helped many students who I know. The smallest of actions and that understanding making the largest of differences to those who are often very vulnerable at the time. In terms of how they've helped me, I'm very happy to say that I have the honour of calling this person a friend, despite the fact that they've moved on from working in the college, but are still very much part of its community. This person really took the time to get to know me over the four years that I've been here and has encouraged me with all my endeavours. This person is one of the few people in my college who I feel has a genuine passion for helping the people who are around them and looks out carefully for those that might need more. I really appreciate all they've done for me and others and particularly other members of the LGBT community and this college is palpably different thanks to them. There are three main reasons why I nominated this person for a KUSU student-led teaching award. First, their supervision and teaching is of the highest quality and really represents 21st century best practice in this area. The bar is set really high, but there's always effective support as to how to get there. Independence is fostered and valued, but always within a supportive context where carefully targeted inputs enable progress. Feedback and communication is prompt, clear and effective and really helps me to get to the heart of the issues in my work and move it forward. Supervision feels highly personalised, where you, your academic starting point, your goals and your circumstances are understood as an individual and support is tailored, enabling you to achieve your potential. Second, this person is a champion of inclusive teaching and whole person well-being. High expectations are balanced with the recognition that healthy breaks, perspective and balance are crucial to the PhD journey. This person not only supports their own students with their personal needs and circumstances, but effectively champions genuinely inclusive teaching and creates a context where everyone can thrive, having an impact across our faculty and beyond. This person has made a huge difference to my own time as a master's and PhD student in Cambridge and is also an incredible beacon for outstanding and inclusive teaching in our faculty and across the university. I'm so proud and feel so fortunate to be part of their research group.
Hi everyone, my name is Rory Kent, I'm a PhD student at King's and I'm here today to announce the winner of the 2020 Student-Led Teaching Award for Partnership, whom I had the pleasure of nominating for this award myself. I nominated this person for several reasons, aside from being a great lecturer and supervisor, she has spent the last couple of years working really closely with undergraduates and graduate students in our department who have been working on an ongoing project to reform our curricula and improve the representation of marginalised voices in our reading lists. She's devoted a lot of her own time to meeting with students consistently, to discussing their concerns, liaising with other members of teaching staff, bringing their concerns to governing body and even helping students set up a formal working group to discuss these concerns about curricula. It's been really, really gratifying for student campaigners to have such consistent support from a member of teaching staff, and I'm sure that uh, we wouldn't be anywhere near where we are today without her expert advice um, and dedication to this project. I'm Tara, I'm a first year PBS student at Sydney and I'm here to tell you why I nominated my supervisor. Hi, I'm Alita, I'm a first year Natsuki from Christ's and I nominated this person because they are without a doubt the best teacher I've ever had. At the first supervision I attended, this person started by asking us general questions about the course. I thought I knew where this was going. We'd have a problem set and we'd go over it. Then I heard a phrase my supervisor will repeat many, many times. Maths is about making links. Again, I thought, okay, cool. Then we were presented with a seemingly common sense problem that turned out to be a trick question. The three of us were wrought with frustration until the aha moment came. This person brought the mundane into the realm of the magical. They completely changed my outlook on the subject and always managed to explain difficult concepts in a way that was really fun. But perhaps most importantly is their commitment to speaking our language. Shreyas Pai writes, They brought maths out of their comfort zone and into ours, the realm of biology. With quips, jokes, and even XKCD comic, they drove home ideas in mathematics, which simply made me go, wow. They had such an amazing ability to turn even the most difficult of concepts into something that seemed really obvious once we were done with it. With simple yet penetrating questions and lucid, crystal clear explanations, they were able to suss out our mathematical deficiencies and remedy them. With numerous jokes and puns, sometimes more than the actual content of the course, there was never a dull moment in their supervisions or lectures. They are committed to student satisfaction, hosting workshops where they test drove new lecturing ideas and discuss in detail numerous worksheets, crib sheets, and problem solving strategies. They are aware of flaws in the course and are always trying to improve by asking for our feedback and opinions. They are accommodating from rescheduling supervisions to fit in students' interests to handing out resources and spending extra time with students who need it. I genuinely really looked forward to every single one of their supervisions. Um, it was one of my favourite hours of the week and I'd always leave the room with a new sense of wonder for the subject. They really care about all their students and genuinely want us to do our best. This person integrated all of these qualities. For that reason, they've been an unforgettable part of our Cambridge experience. From the first day of starting our PGC course, it was clear to see that he was different a special and quite unique member of staff. Not only was his enthusiasm for science teaching so genuine and infectious, plain to see that he was equally as invested enough, if not more so, in us as people, students and colleagues. 
By the end of the first day, he had committed each of our names to memory, some 40-odd, and welcomed us into the course in his warm, friendly tone that has since become his hallmark. There is little doubt that his expertise when it comes to the teaching of science are second to none. His presentations, activities and discussions are hugely engaging from the moment they begin to the sad moment they cease. Demonstrating an outstanding level of scholarly insight and academic intellect, these have clearly been born out of years of hard work, endless tweaking and a feverish desire to improve his practice. The results are highly polished professional lectures and workshops that are as interesting and entertaining as they are illuminating. Not only was his lesson about Britain's bird life not painfully dull, it actually turned out to be one of the most interesting ways of teaching sound that any of us had ever come across. He has a quite relentless joy and energy and an unerring commitment to every individual he teaches, making our time at Cambridge uh, the most supportive imaginable. He's allowed each of us to flourish uh, and improve our practice nearly every day. He's constantly put on extra sessions for his students in order for us to benefit from every ounce of his expertise. He goes far beyond the, the call of duty. Uh, even when COVID-19 began to scupper his carefully laid plans, he's repeatedly ensured us uh, that our welfare was, and always has been, uh, his, his top priority. And since then, he's been a calming, professional figure, uh, and he's made this time as smooth and, and stress-free as it really possibly could. Um, what he lacks in hair, he more than makes up for in amusing anecdotes and ornithological wisdom, for sure. He's been a role model and a friend to everyone on the course, the ultimate in leading by example. It's heartbreaking that our time with him has ended so prematurely, but the university should be proud to have someone like him. kind of tutor that makes Cambridge wonderful and I think in these really difficult times it's more important for people to be bravely kind, supportive and empathetic and he is all of those things. He was there when I was in one of the worst moments of my life. After I was assaulted and got the email that my tutor wanted to talk to me the next day I thought I was going to be blamed. Where I'm from in Texas it's a tale as old as time. I could have never imagined the words that came out of his mouth, that he believed me and he supported me. He made me feel safe for a brief moment after someone else took that sense of safety against my will. I can never repay him for that, but I can thank him for it with this award and for the rest of my life. I nominated this person because they consistently go above and beyond to deliver the highest caliber teaching that I have received during my time at Cambridge. They produce the most detailed and useful handouts of any course that I've ever had and are always working hard on our behalf. They are ready and eager to answer any questions that we have and uh, always do so with a curious and encouraging attitude, making sure no stone is left unturned to answer our questions. Um, basically, this person is just a flipping legend. La creme de la creme, as some people would say. That concludes the awards ceremony. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the students who made these awards possible. And once again, congratulations to all our winners. See you at Cambridge SU's Teaching Awards 2021.